Hey everybody, Skylar here, and in this video I want to go over a company called Crypterium. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this company and kind of wondering if it's a scam or not, and kind of what's, what the deal is with this company, where they're going, kind of what the, you know, uh, uh, if they should get this card or not. And uh, and I kind of just want to go over this company and kind of my thoughts upon it. I've gone, I've spent quite a few hours digging through the internet, trying to, to find the good and the bad, and, and hopefully this video will end up helping out with you. Uh, let's just get right to it. So before I end up going, I, I guess uh, I would just like to say I do make these uh, videos. I'm I'm gonna try to make them anyways every single week, <clears throat> and uh, I think I've actually decided to do a. A, a live uh, AMA. Uh, I have a lot of people who just have a lot of basic questions. Maybe just once a week I'll do a live. You know, hit a, hit a like button if you would like to. To you know, once a week um, or maybe even twice a week, different times. Uh, I'll, I'll, you can just come on and just ask me any questions you want whatsoever, and I'll just give my opinions, whether I know the answer or not. Maybe we can figure it out together. So, um, at any rate, um, let's just kind of dig into this company real quick, and uh, and I'll, I'll kind of give my thoughts. Uh, you know how how uh, you know I'm how qual unqualified they really are or whatever. But uh, but yeah, let's kind of hop into the website. <clears throat> Okay, so before we end up going into the wallet and, and talking about the card and the company and all that sort of stuff, I, I kind of want to talk about, um, I, I hopped into um, Google and typed in Crypterium scam and tried to find all the bad stuff about it. And um, I, I dug like four or five pages deep and clicked like 20, 30, I don't even know, so many, t so many links. Um, but... But here's the deal. Um, here's out of all of those. Here's the kind of funky stuff. So this is actually one of the. For, um, this is one on the page one. Uh, one of the first things I saw. And uh, <clears throat> you know, the interesting thing enough is, is first thing I noticed is there, there's 107 reviews on uh, untrustpilot.com, and uh, and if you look at them, there's there's they're all either excellent or bad. There's only one great. You know, there's only two great. And then there's no average or poor, so that just seems like really, really w re weird. Now the bad, um, if you look at the bad, they're they're pretty bad. And I'll go over the bad in in a second, um, kind of what everyone's complaints were and, and my thoughts on that. But but the uh, the excellent, if you look at the excellent, and and hey, I'm I'm gonna try to be as fair as possible. I, I actually pulled a couple aside um, previously because I I just wanted to you know, have a couple good ones to show you, but oh my gosh, these are so funny. So I'm gonna try to be as fair as possible. I'm gonna just scroll, random, randomly click one, and uh, uh, here, here, let's try this uh, This person right here. So I am a Cryptarium addict, um, Cryptarium banking. Let's just see what this one guy uh, review is. Oh wait, no, there's only one review. I need, I need more than one. Uh, this person, three, Mario. Okay, so let's see this guy's reviews. Um, great startup, fast support, and most important, take care of my money. So that's the one for uh, Crypterium. Cool. Uh, this one's for eBookers. E uh, Nywinder, Bookie Winder. Oh, crap. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> and then this is a different uh, language. Or... Okay, cool. So that's just kind of strange. Okay, cool. So one English and, and one like kind of uh, hard to read. Uh, let's see. Can I see another one with two? Here we go. Let's try this one. Uh, they're both on Criterium. All right, that doesn't count. Anyways, all of these reviews just seem fake. It's, it's, I guess that's my point. Criterium, Criterium. Like, is there even one? Here's one with three, that one. Oh wait, this one's negative. Wait, I'm sorry to see all these negative. This one seems, Cryptarium, oh, okay, that one seems legit, right? Smooth, fast, easy, I want Oh wait, that's another Cryptarium. Oh wait, this one's a, <laughs> so wait, maybe this one isn't legit. Oh my goodness. Okay, so at any rate, um, it seemed like there's a lot of bad. Out of all of these uh, good ones, I, I, there were a lot of bad reviews, and instead of just kind of going through and reading them all, I, I, I wanted to break them all down into uh, 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 just like the most common complaints, and then I also <laughs> browsed the internet um, and, uh, and tried to find 
proof and you know tried to dig up some dirt and it, it was uh, kind of difficult in some of these but at any rate so here, here were some of the, the fears and here is what I could find and you know what uh, I don't want to try to like give any um, I'm not very good at these videos I, I apologize everyone watching you know these I'm, I'm I, uh, I you know I'm, I'm I've been in this industry a few years but um, but uh, this industry is very it's a minefield and I'm, I'm just trying to help navigate with you but uh, but uh, at any rate, let, uh, these these are the fears, and here's kind of my thoughts around that. These so, um, so it installs. A lot of people think that it installs like malicious software on your uh, phone, and then it like copies passwords, and then it like um, then they're using those passwords to like uh, get into your stuff and and steal money and all this sort of stuff. Well, um, my thoughts on that um, are, first of all. If that is happening, bummer. But second of all, I mean, obviously bummer, right? That would be awful. That would be more than a bummer. But if if that did happen, that there would be more repercussions than, um, I mean, I, I couldn't find any like legal actions, any lawsuits, and anything when it came to that sort of thing. So I did, however, find people that were complaining. And then, um, in fact, let's go, I'll just zip right over. I actually found one. Oh yeah, so another one um, was talking about, um, I revoked my comment below, but anyways, uh, and I, 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 you end up getting comments where um, people are like, oh, they took my money, I transferred money, or I did, I did this or that, and, and it's, it's, you know, both my funds are disappeared, and, you know, care won't help me, and, and you know uh, everything's just awful and these guys are scam artists and whatever but then um, a lot of these I've found that people are like oh they just took like a month or something like that or something ridiculous and they were thinking like hey if you transfer you know funds normally it's like three to five days if that right so um, or, or you know I, I don't know and, um, and and depending on the situation as, as well um, would depend on you know on, but uh, the, the days and the weeks and the hours and whatever but but at any rate, a lot of people, their funds get uh, delayed and they think that they're getting scammed and stuff. So uh, maybe some people have lost funds. Maybe they're putting the wrong addresses and they're blaming. I don't know. Like, you, you, you make up your decision on, on that. But uh, another one is um, money in your wallet gets um, uh, transferred to other funds. A lot of people think that, uh, that a lot of people have complained that they wake up and then all of a sudden it shows that their money has been transferred to another wallet. And they're like, I don't remember doing that. And um, and I actually have seen this quite a few times, but it's always as in a complaint and I don't see any proof. So like not saying that it didn't happen, but like, you know, normally people like screenshot it because they're like really pissed, right? Like I just invested like, you know, $1,200 into this program and now my funds are gone and you know, da 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 da. So, um, so I, I, I don't know on that. Maybe I can just dig deep. Maybe I should dig deeper, but, um, but, uh, at any rate, you, you know, <laughs> you tell me, um, now, um, a lot of people are upset that this is that the, the app and that this company is centralized. So once you put your money into, into this, um, uh, into their wallet, this company has, um, control over it is what the is what I, I've what I've end up um, read, um, but uh, so they can end up um, you know um, increasing fees and and doing all sorts of stuff when it comes to your money. Some people just don't like the delay of funds and the freezing of assets, and I think um, a lot of these people are, are saying that you know the reason why all these funds are being delayed for like weeks at a time is or because they're they're playing the market so they can buy and sell bitcoin and end up you know turning profit as they're wait having you wait for these funds and stuff like that because they're you know they're they're not liquid or, or I, I i don't know so um you know you you tell me in the in the uh in the comments below what, what you think the biggest complaint that i end up hearing is is the, is the support so the support for the app is awful and uh, and and 
you know, that's not really a product problem. It's, it's not like the product sucks because the support for the product is awful. Um, to be honest, there's a certain company, um, I'm not going to say their name, but anybody who knows drones knows what company I'm talking about. I fly drones, and there's a specific company that's amazing with drones. Mind-blowing experience, but their um, customer service is just awful, awful, awful. Um, you know, and it doesn't, I kind of deal with it because the product is so fantastic and I have such an enjoy, enjoyable experience with it. And, you know, um, you know, and, and, you know, I guess that's just an example for me of why, um, you know, I, I just don't see that as a, as a, as a, as an example. If they end up having bad support and they don't get, they go on the app and they complain the app and they don't get any response in like two or three days, then they go on Telegram and they go get banned on Telegram and, and, uh, and all this sort of stuff. So, um, a, a lot of people like it just get ticked off and, um, you know, and to be, to be honest, I, I've been in groups before where, um, there has been projects that I've liked and, um, and I still like actually, and people have come in and they've just had a bad experience with, you know, losing money. And it's just like, well, um, you know, you invested in a, you know, a risky, industry and a risky you know even even you didn't even invest in bitcoin it was a riskier coin you know riskier asset in a riskier era you know industry and you know so it's just like um i i don't know so um, i can understand why people would get mad but sometimes it you know when people get really upset and they just flood the chat with a uh, hate you know you don't really want that so um, you kind of need to kick them out if, if they just become spammers or whatever. So who knows if that ends up happening or not. But, um, you know, if I don't get help, I'm a squeaky wheel until I get help. But, uh, but uh, you know, so I could see myself in a situation where, hey, if I transferred like 500 bucks and the person only got 320 and there's some sort of fee that I didn't know about. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? This is worse than banks. Why the heck would I even use their service? And I would go in there and be like, this person is a scam, blah, 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 blah. But, um, but um, you know, uh, those really aren't the problems. It's like, oh, my funds aren't being transferred in time or something like that. And then they get really upset and then they, f and they flood the chat and they get them like three weeks later. And maybe some people don't and maybe there is some problems and, you know, and hopefully that they have, you know, fixed those problems or, or work with those people. And I, I don't know. But um, at any rate, um, that, another thing a lot of people complain about is the price of the coin dropping. It's a big scam because of that, and that's just kind of ridiculous to me because, you know, as everyone knows, every coin has dropped. And, you know, there have actually been some coins um, that have increased in value quite significantly and, and gone past their all-time high, um, which is awesome. But, uh, but as a whole, the whole industry is, is down um, below their all-time high for sure. Um, I think this company is doing something pretty cool. And this, if, if they are honest and if they are you know, not liars and shady little shadesters or whatever, um, if they aren't shady little shadesters um, and they're you know, trying to make a product that's integrating crypto just like they're you know, and trying to make payments you know, seamlessly cross borders eas easily, um, obviously you know, Bitcoin can do that as well. Um, they're trying to integrate it through their app though, which is and through a card, which is really cool, um, and through a lot of uh, th um, fiat integrated payments uh, systems already, which is kind of um, kind of cool. So, um, Cryptarium, let's just hop over to the website and kind of get started. Okay, so let's talk about the company. Cryptarium. All right. So essentially, in 2013, they did a round one um, series and raised about a million dollars to do um, based on QR scanning payments. And um, China is actually, and um, I actually just pulled up the. I just asked China, what <laughs> China's most used payment systems, and it said, uh, yeah, Alibaba, WeChat Pay, Union Pay are by far the most common and used things to pay in China. As you see, there's that little you know phone. So yeah, people use. Um, use their phones uh, to pay in China. In fact, your identification cards, uh, your, your credit cards, debit cards, all that sort of stuff is going to, is not going to be um, used uh, anymore. You're, everything's gonna be on your phone. And uh, you know, I'd assume even your keys are very soon as well gonna be disappear and gonna be all digitized. 
Um, but uh, so they knew that and that's how they got started. 2015, they started with a bunch of partners. Uh, 2018, they started with the, uh, they got their mobile app out, and then they, they launched their Bitcoin card. They got, I think it was like 11,000, I'm not sure what it is, but they got a bunch of cards out, and they're, um, uh, I, I can't remember, it was like 150,000, I'm maybe just spitting wrong words, but, um, I, I saw some, like, podcast of the, uh, of, um, the CEO, and he said he was gonna launch a bunch of cards, um, a bunch more cards, um, soon, after the first round went well, but, um, at any rate, and I think it was this Austin Kim guy that I saw that said that, but um, we have a bunch of um, experienced guys. Stephen Parker, he's the former general manager of Visa, uh, Visa's Central Eastern um, European Network. Um, experienced, um, let's see, uh, he, oh, this guy's built a bunch of financial service companies that have access to over $500 million. Um, a bunch of these guys do uh, financial um, uh, financial um, technology uh, backgrounds, and um, and I couldn't really find, <laughs> I always try to find dirt, I couldn't really find dirt on anybody, but, um, but yeah, so... Um, right now this company is just essentially just trying to make it easy for you to get that card on your phone get that card payment on, on a on a little you know a debit a physical card and allow you to just swipe and pay with like a visa card except it's a you know transunion card and it ends up taking your Bitcoin your or your your Litecoin and uh, or whatever it ends up being and your uh, the the crypt the the uh, um, cryptocurrency that you end up having it ends up taking like I think they said the top 20 currencies and it takes the average price and that's what it sells it for um, so that way um, you're not losing a bunch or, or getting you know it's, it's pretty fair and even when it comes to that but um, yeah um, I found a bunch of you know articles as well that have talked about um, you know business insider you know um, that have talked about, uh, you know, this company, um, found it, you know, maybe I should link all these for, for you guys to look into, but, um, but yeah, they're, they essentially just wanted to hop into the financial institution and, um, and, and make it easy for, hop, hop into the payments, um, and, and, and um, and, um, sector and make it easy to, Cross cryptocurrency and um, and fiat currencies um, pretty sim seamlessly. Now, <clears throat> if you see right here, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to compare BitPay BitPay because I'm in the United States, but uh, Cryptarium does have a lot more fees for the most part. Some are less um, and some are more, but um, but. Um, but yeah, you can end up interacting pretty pretty good. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and then there's CRPT coin, Cryptarium coin. Um, you you can pay with Union Pay. So if you ha if any place accepts Union Pay, so if you've ever seen the seen those Union Pay stick um, stickers or logos or as payment you know stickers on doors when you you know get in or those counters when you go to pay, you should you should see these like little you know you can pay with this you know type of stuff. If you see Union Pay, then you should be able to pay with this, which is nice. Um, ATM, you know, you can pull out twenty five hundred. It's quite a bit. Um, you know, no monthly fee, you know, it's, and that's, you know, and, and, uh, but yeah, um, you know, and, and some of the fees may be a little bit more, but a little bit less, but, uh, but yeah, um, but at any rate, I, I guess I'm, I'm going to end the video right here. I, again, I'm really sorry this video is, is, is this long. I, I try to keep my videos down. I, I would love to keep them down in 10 minutes. That's my goal. 10 minutes. Uh, every single video but they're always like 30 minutes or something like that so i apologize but i'm gonna end the video right here um if this video helped at all please like subscribe i hate showing my channel it's such a dumb thing to do but um but um you know I, i'd love to make this channel grow i i would love to make i'm gonna I'm, i'll be making a video once a week I, um that's my goal and then if once I am able to do that for a couple months, then I'm gonna start doing you know two week, then three week, and I'd love to start doing you know 
them uh, even more consistently than that. But at any rate, super appreciate everyone. Um, uh, you have no idea, everyone who, who comments below. By, oh, by the way, I forgot to even mention this. If you guys have any questions, if anyone hasn't watched these videos before um, and hasn't seen me and you've actually watched all the way through, holy crap, thank goodness, by the way, thank you so much. Um, but if you, anytime you ever watch any of my videos or any, any video, you can just hop into any video of mine and just ask any question you want. But um, ask any questions, go in the comments. If you look at any of my videos, I respond to everybody pretty heavily. You know, and, and uh, I have, I just hit 700 followers. That's so crazy. That's so awesome. I super appreciate it. Um, I didn't, I just hit a thousand followers on Twitter the other day too. It was just like, oh my gosh, dude, I feel like I'm, I'm getting like OG status. But um, that, I uh, thank you, thank you so much um, for, for that. Um, I, I'm I should be stretching this video out longer than I should. But anyways, if you ever have any questions whatsoever, just go down in the comments below and just ask the question. I get those notifications on my phone pretty quick. I do actually miss like 10, 15%, sometimes even more than that, of the comments. I just never even get them. And I, I scroll through and I'm like, how did I miss this three days ago? Um, but I, my phone pretty much gives me notifications for the, for the most part. So, um, so anybody who, uh, who, who um, has any questions, write them down below. Uh, like, subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Um, all of these, uh, by the way, money goes to charity, so every single like and subscribe absolutely goes a very single lot long way. I don't do any, I don't make any money yet, but hopefully I will on this channel. That'd be really cool. And if I do, um, it'd be really cool to uh, to give it away to, to others that can, you know, actually need it. <laughs> but uh, super appreciate it, everyone. Uh, thanks. Take care. Bye.